Hey guys, it's Hakeem Isler, aka the Black MacGyver, your favorite ninja, and I'm out here on the Soil Foundation property, and we're going to be talking about how can we find water and purify water um, when we don't have any containers or anything to boil in it. So So we're going to talk about rock boiling today. So how do I rock boil water, especially if I don't have a container? Well, one way is I can find a natural land feature that actually has um, a, a way to hold water on its own naturally. In this case, I found this cauldron here. This cauldron is already holding water. It, it, was, it actually grew into this rock, so it's, it's right there perfect for me to use um, and to do what we call a rock boil which is what we're going to be working on right now so what we're going to do first is we're going to clean this out so it's got all this debris and stuff that fell into it naturally so we need to get all of that out of there so i'm going to start scooping this out and getting it nice and clean and i'm going to even take all of the old nasty water out of so here. i'm almost done so if you see i'm taking this last scoop of water out of here and now it's really really empty you can see how this turned out perfectly. This rock formation just gave me something really natural. And this is something to be grateful for if I'm trying to survive in the wilderness and I need to uh, boil some water, um, it's, it's really important. So now that I've cleaned out my cauldron, I have to go get some rocks so that I can put them inside there. So I'm not gonna collect from the stream itself or the creek itself because sometimes the rocks absorb that moisture and if you put them into a fire, that moisture will start to evaporate and it'll expand really fast. Could cause the rock to kind of explode and that could cause you a mechanical injury. So we wanna make sure we stay away from rocks that are actually in the creek. We're gonna get rocks maybe off the creek bed that are a little bit more drier, maybe very dry, that'll even work for us as well. So this cedar tree is here. It has uh, its bark that already peels off. It's really good. So I can take some of this bark and start peeling it off, getting behind it. And you see how well that peels off. That's gonna be good. I'm gonna process that down and I'm gonna use that for my, my tinder bundle to help me start my fire. I need some kindling. So kindling is gonna be some dry, branches and things that I can find lying around. I want to start small and then I want to grow big. When you hear that nice snap, that's how you know that this is ready and it's primed to be burnt. It's dried out. We're looking for things that don't have moisture in them because moisture works against fire. I want to have enough material so that I can keep my rocks in the fire for a while and really get them up to temperature. So if I don't have enough debris and I don't have enough of my kindling to actually keep that flame going long enough so that it can get my rocks up to temperature, then that's going to be a problem for me. So now I have a rag and this rag is going to be how I can collect water. I can go ahead and put this in there. It'll absorb the water. I can bring it over to my cauldron and then I can wring it out inside the cauldron and then that's how I can fill it up if I don't have a container. Another thing that I did was because I know I'm going to have to move rocks from my uh, fire pal into the cauldron and I can't do that with my hands and it's pretty tough trick to do with your knife trying to balance on here. I went out and I made me some tongs. I just took a living tree that had some flexibility in it. I cut a nice little end on each side and then cut it a little bit in the center, folded it over and now I have some tongs that I can lift with. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my fire started. That it's looking good. I'm gonna take some rocks. A little bit bigger than a golf ball. I'm gonna start putting it into my flame. All right, so now that we have taken the rocks, we put them in the fire. We're trying to get them up to a high temperature so that the rocks can then transfer the heat from the fire into the water. I'm gonna use my tongs. I'm gonna start digging through. Got my first rock right there. Try to blow off some of the dust. And
can see we were able to get this thing sizzling. We had some steam rising off of there. You even saw some bubbles going around the rocks. But we're trying to use the rocks to boil out anything that would be in the water. Now this isn't ideal, this is survival. Remember, survival is not perfect, it's survival. So we are trying to do whatever we can to survive this situation. This is pretty extreme, so I'm using rocks to boil water in a rock cauldron, not where you would want to be. I want you guys to use this and tell me what you think about it. Make sure you comment, make sure you leave me any ideas. I can come back out here on the Soil Foundation property and try it out. I'm Black MacGyver and remember, it's not what you have, it's how you use what you know. Until next time everyone, stay tuned my ninja. Thank <laughs> you.